Welcome back. You with FBC Sports. Nigerian striker Sani Isa and defender Samuela Kautonga may not be able to feature for Suva in the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants. A dispute hearing took place at the Fiji Football Association headquarters this afternoon. Selvin Chan has more. The duo's transfer was disputed after Suva showcased the players in the lead-up to the BOG. A meeting was called by Fiji Football Association after disputing parties failed to reach consensus. Suva refused to pay $6,000 for Sani Isa. Rewa had produced receipts and documents showing Isa had owed them $6,000. And if Suva could clear the amount, Isa would have been free to play for them. Fiji FA CEO Bob Kumar says after the meeting, Rewa refused to negotiate. There was no question of negotiation. Rewa wants 6000 so here we have adjourned the meeting as well, and we said if, if they can still negotiate and sort it out, it's so much the better. If not, then it will also go to the board. For Kautonga, he owed Lambasa $13,000, and before departing to play club soccer in Vanuatu, he agreed to return and play for Lambasa. Kautonga's failure to honor his agreement with Lambasa had the Netherlands demanding Suva for $13,000. Lambasa would not release him because he had a debt of 13000 so he undertook to come back and play. And now Lambasa is asking, now that he has decided to go to Suva, Lambasa is asking that the money be, re, uh, be refunded. So we try to mediate and negotiate on terms and conditions and see if the two parties could agree. Uh, so there was no agreement. If Suva fails to negotiate with Rewa and Suva, both Isa and Kautonga will sit the BOG out as a board of control will now meet on July 28th. The day the semi finals are scheduled to happen. BOG starts this Sunday with Suva to feature in the first game against Nandi. Shelvin Chand, FBC Sports. At the top of the National League, Nandi now wants to break a nine year drought at the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants. With two of the best coaches in the country guiding the Jet Setters, anticipation is high within the Nandi camp. Shelvin Chand has more. Like all other teams, Nandi will be looking for a win when they face Suva in their first game of the BOG. Suva is a very good side and uh, they got some good uh, set of boys and we played in the Fiji Fact, we drew with them and this time we'll, we will try and work on our mistakes, uh, improve on our mistakes and then go and face them. It will be a good match and we'll give them a good run. It was in 2003 when Nandi last won a major title. With the team's recent performance and inclusion of five Tavo players, expectations are high that Nandi can win the BOG. I think the players are uh, very dedicated. They, they know that they are in the top and, and they have to perform. And the expectation from the officials and the fans of uh, Nandi is very high. So the players should be very confident going into the tournament. Meanwhile, Suva is not going to be a pushover. With the capital side setting its sight on winning every tournament this year, they are not settling for anything less than a win. Suva and Nandi kickstart the first round of the BOG this Sunday at Subrail Park in Lambasa. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. Suva will miss the services of a key player when they take on Nandi in the Digicel Cup on Saturday. But the capital side doesn't have any qualms about it since they plan to rely on other highly skilled players to fill in. Akosita Tali has the details. It's a vital game for Suva, and they know very well this match could decide their fate for a place in the semi-finals of the Digicel Cup. Currently, the capital side are one of the teams still in contention for a place in the last four. For us to be aggressive on uh, the breakdowns, that's where Nandi can be very hard on other teams, eh, against uh, top teams against like Nandroga and Itaisiri. And uh, we have a very uh, young squad uh, under Tanivula and uh, I believe that we must not underestimate uh, Nandi and also we have to come up with a very good uh, structure game plan in order to beat uh, Nandi this Saturday. Even though Suva will be missing the services of Nipi halfback Nikola Matawalu, the capital side is still confident of a good outing. Uh, we have Nasila Sila and also Aprosa Kenatale who has come through the system, uh, represent the PRC. And uh, uh, we, be we believe and trust uh, some of our young players to fill in the shoes uh, left by Nicola. The capital side will be boosted by the likes of national reps William Evecoso, Benedito Coroi and Michael Limo de Tanra. 
Sova meets Nandi at Prince Charles Park on Saturday at 3 p.m. Akusita Tale, FBC Sports. Luxembourg cyclist Frank Schleck is out of the CS Tour de France after testing positive for a banned substance. But Schleck maintains he's innocent and says he was framed, adding to the already drama-filled event. The face of the Tour de France's latest scandal. One of the sport's biggest names, Frank Schleck, has tested positive for a banned diuretic, a substance that helps riders lose weight and subsequently perform better in the demanding mountain stages of the race. The past week of the 99th Tour de France has provided organizers and team bosses with a series of headaches. On the tour's first rest day, Cofidis rider Remy de Gregorio was arrested for alleged doping. A few days later, tacks were found in the road, causing dozens of riders to suffer punctures. Organizers believe it was sabotage. And now we have Schleck's failed drugs test. Oh, yes, uh, we were all struck down, but there's nothing we can do. All we can do is take note of the facts. We shall see what we can do, but it's really for Frank himself to find an explanation. The latest doping scandal is a huge setback for the Radio Shack team. Retired seven-time champion Lance Armstrong, himself a former Radio Shack rider, is still fighting doping charges by the United States Anti-Doping Agency. Two Tour de France winners have already been stripped of their titles in recent years. Floyd Landis lost the yellow jersey in 2006 following a failed drugs test. And doping also saw Alberto Contador stripped of his 2010 title. That title was handed to Andy Schleck less than two months ago. And now it's Andy's brother Frank who finds himself in the midst of a doping storm. It's like a bolt of thunder. We didn't expect this kind of announcement. Frank Schleck, after all, is an experienced cyclist. And on top of that, he had nothing to defend in the overall standings, except maybe attempt a stage victory. Frank Schleck has already issued a statement denying taking any banned substance and says he will argue he is the victim of poisoning. Well, isn't this year's Tour de France turning out to be a rather interesting one? That's it from Sports Tonight.